Hi, we're going to upgrade the MSI GF63 laptop with an Intel i5 10300H 6 core with an NVIDIA GTX 1650 MXQ 4GB and an 8GB DDR4 RAM and a 256GB NVMe. This is a crucial 16GB DDR4 RAM. This is a SanDisk Ultra 3D SSD 1TB with their end cache that is said to boost writing speeds. Alright, it's time to open up this laptop. Turn it over carefully to expose the screws. First thing, you gotta need this tool to open the screws. This is the tool that I'll be using, just a regular tool. And I counted three screws, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. The twelfth or left screw is where the security tape is, is where the warranty, I'm guessing. And you're gonna need to rip it up to access the last screw and I hear that if you do open it up you're gonna need to void your warranty and if you screw up opening up the laptop and it breaks or it doesn't work after you upgrade it not sure if you can take it to a repair shop to repair it uh, well just be sure that you're willing to go all the way and just be careful just as I did. Now find a place to put the screws so you don't lose it and I'm also using a um, anti-static wristband yeah you know just gotta be careful <laughs> Now here's the 12 screw, the last screw with the factory seal. Oh yeah. Now it was time to open it up. Um, all of the tutorial or I've been looking at all the YouTubers, um, they use like this sort of plastic um, wedge uh, and I try to use like a card to open it up but nope it will not let me at all. I'm guessing if it's your first time opening it up, it's sealed up. <laughs> so, actually you was uh, able to open it with my nail. And I didn't even need the card at all. On this part, while I was opening it up, the side panel where the screen was, it was coming out. So I just carefully pried it out and it came out. I've been 
watching all kinds of YouTube saying that you should unplug the battery from the motherboard if you're gonna upgrade anything it's basically the same thing when you're upgrading your computer PC you're gonna up unplug the power supply all right right so this is the RAM that's already in the laptop. And this is the 256 okay. gigabyte NVMe. Yeah. Looks like a Kingston. So now I'm gonna put the crucial 16 gigabyte of RAM. Oh yeah. So 8 plus 16, I'll be getting 24 gigabyte of RAM. Yeah, and this is my first time installing a RAM in the laptop. So it was like, what the, I don't even know what I'm doing. And no matter how many times I watch YouTube, tutorial about installing RAM the first time is gonna be the hardest and yep I finally did it yeah accomplished and now for the one terabyte SSD from SanDisk yeah yeah So this is the one terabyte SSD from SanDisk. It looks like it's covered in plastic. And this is the uh, SSD or HDD bracket that comes with the laptop. Be sure to save it. And these are the four screws that it comes with. It comes with two silvers and two blacks. And I don't know which one to use for which so I just experimented oh now let's open up the SSD take it out from the plastic and it has this yellow tape sticker it told me to take it out before installing anything so before installing and here's the SSD drive SanDisk 1 terabyte now we're gonna install the bracket to the SSD I'm using the silver to secure it to the SSD and don't put it in the angle like I did because it wouldn't go in and then I use the black one to secure the SSD to the laptop and also congratulations I did it ho, ho, ho. and be sure to replug the power supply, uh, not the power supply, the battery to the motherboard it was super difficult. Uh, yeah. I, it looked like I had a clip, but I didn't. And now, let's fast forward the installation of the cover. It took me a super long time to do it. Especially putting it back and just carefully squeeze everywhere on the side and you're gonna hear all the popping sound, all the clicking sound and I was scared that I was squeezing it too hard that the screen might break so I just opened that up and just continue squeezing it every time 
I squeeze it, you all hear the clicking sound. Click, click, click. Oh my gosh, it looks so scary. And then finally, put back the panel that was on the side of the screen. It was difficult to put into. I'm just clicking it. Finally went in and stayed put, and then just continue squeezing it everywhere. And finally, put back the top screws, put the last screw that you took out, and you put it back in as the first one. And I try to do the crisscross method like how you do on your car tire when you take it out and put it back in and once that's all done make sure that all the screws is gone you gotta put uh, the part plug back on Turn it on. I have to wait like a long time, maybe like a minute or less than a minute. And then it started to load, and I was so relieved. And it just loaded and loaded. And it, black screen, I was like, oh my gosh, but 